Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Links. Daily dose of inspiration. Daily dose of inspiration. Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Links Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, October 19th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day. to Share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 2 John. And we're going to look at verses 9, 10, and 11. Scripture says, Whosoever transgresseth, and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If any come unto you, or if there any, if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, <coughs> neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. Friends, this letter of Second John that we're studying this week uh, was most likely sent to a church or a group of believers. It could have been sent to to just a, a family, but, but a lot of theologians and things feel that it was written to a specific church or to the church in general. And he was talking about holding fast to the truth, and we studied about that early, earlier in the week. And then we had looked at, at the commandments we're supposed to be following, following the teachings of Jesus, making sure that we're abiding in those things. And then yesterday we saw why we need to make sure we abide in the teachings of God or in, of Jesus is because that there's a lot of deceivers, a lot of false teachers that's, that's out there. And there's so many false teachers even today. You could about turn on the TV and see a false teacher about any channel anymore. And... And that we still have to be concerned about that. We still have to make sure that what they're teaching lines up or what any pastor, what any ministry is teaching lines up with what the Word of God says, lines up with the commands of Jesus. And that's what John is warning us still about here. He says, whoever transgresseth, or in other words, whoever sins and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, has not God. He's saying you can't sin and abide in in the doctrine of Jesus. He said, if you sin, and you abide not in the doctrine, you don't have God. That means God's not on your side. That means you're not getting the favor of God there. He says, but he that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, or he that dwells in, or he that lives in the doctrine of Christ, hath both, hath both the Father and the Son. So you see, if you sin and you abide not and you live not in in the doctrine of Jesus, you don't have anybody. You don't have Jesus. You don't have God. But if you live in and abide in the doctrine of Christ, the teachings of Christ, the commands of Christ, then you have both God the Father and you have Jesus the Son. But he's going to make it a little, little tighter here. He goes on in verse 10 to say, If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine. What doctrine is that? The doctrine of Jesus Christ, the following the commands of Jesus. He said, Receive him not into your house. He's not referring to, before I go on here, I want to make sure that this is understood, because when he says, Welcome them not into your house, he's not referring to somebody that's an unbeliever, somebody that doesn't know Jesus, somebody that hasn't, heard the message of Jesus to somebody that hasn't accepted Jesus, because those are the people that we are to be ministering to. But what he's talking about here is is those that are spreading false teachings, the false doctrine, the deceivers, as he referred to them in verse 7. He said, don't receive them into your house. He said, neither bid them Godspeed, or neither bid them well. Why is that? Because it's a danger to our faith. A true Christian is going to follow the commands of Jesus, is going to follow the doctrines as found in the Word of God. A false teacher is going to do nothing more than try and feed his own belly. And John says that they're so dangerous to us, we need to make sure that they don't, they don't infiltrate our houses. We need to make sure that they don't infiltrate our, 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 our house there. And he's, he's saying that because we don't want to support 
the false teachings. We don't want to support the false doctrines that's being out there or being preached out there. And then he says, For he that biddeth him Godspeed is a partaker of his evil deeds. John's saying, If you welcome one of these deceivers into your house, he said, and you bid them well and you send them on their journey with, with supplies, he said, You are a partaker of their evil works. Friends, we need to make sure who it is that we're listening to. Make sure that the doctrine that's being presented by any ministry, whether it's me right here in the morning, whether it's your pastor at your church, whether it's it's a preacher with slick back hair and, and fancy suits that comes on TV, you need to make sure that the doctrine they're teaching lines up with the Word of God. Are you doing that today? And you know, if you if you support that ministry that is spreading false teachings you're partaking in that spreading of false teachings think about that as you go through this day and remember get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today have a blessed day mm -hmm.